What's up guys, Joey626 back again, and today's topic, we'll be talking about um, the job of serving. I am a server, if you guys don't know, um, I work at a cafe, and every day it just seems like people either, they're just rude, and it's an American thing, and they ask for us just stupid questions. So I wrote five things that are the most annoying as a server. So I wrote them down on my little composition book. So um, here we go. Okay, so the first thing is when people come in the cafe and I say, hello, how are you? And they just don't answer. They don't even look at you. They go straight to what they want and they go, I want this. Can I have that and that? And I'm like, all right, sure. And I'm just like in my brain, I just start cussing. <laughs> and then I'm like, sure, you can kindly grab what you want. Whatever. Number two is, uh, when a person comes in, they start looking at all the food and they go, is it good? And in my brain, it's something totally different than what I usually say. I'm like, no, it's awful. Everything's disgusting, you know? And then they start laughing. But in my brain, I'm really like, of course it's good. If it was bad, yeah, we don't care if it's bad. We're still going to sell it, even though it's disgusting. You know, it's like stupid questions. Don't ask if it's good. Obviously, it's good if we're selling it, you know? All right, number three is when um, they come up to the register and I haven't even like um, typed down because we use iPads anyway so I have not even typed down like the list of things that they're buying and they just automatically just say how much is it and then in my brain I'm like well if you wait for a second you know I don't have four arms to type that quick but I'm like one minute I'll let you know right now you know, but it's like, come on, man, I just got to the register. Don't ask me how much it is, you know, like, I'm not that quick. Okay, number, um, number four is, um, when they come in the store, they're looking around the whole store. I swear they take like 10 minutes, 15 minutes looking around the whole store. They have enough time to look at what they want. And they ask if we have something, a type of food that we don't have. They'll be asking if, we have cupcakes or like cronuts, which if you don't know what cronuts are, cronuts is a, a croissant donut type of thing. I don't know what it is. I've never seen it. All I know is that they have it at McDonald's from what I've heard. I don't know, but it's, it's, we don't sell that. So yeah, it's stuff like that where you're like, if you don't see it, then it just means that we don't have it, ma'am. Um... Anyway, um, also another thing that I was actually thinking is people that uh, get offended when you don't understand what they're saying, especially if they have an accent. Um, I like to reassure myself, you know, kindly. I'm very respectful and I'm like, um, like I, I let them check the box or the bag and make sure that everything they want is in it and they get mad and I actually had a customer today who actually dissed me and he went well if you actually pay attention and then I go all right <laughs> I was like all right cool have a great day and I just let my coworker help him because I just want to punch someone in the face so that's one thing but the last thing that I wanted to talk about was when I actually close and we actually lock doors and um everything's closed we're putting away all the stuff and people actually knock on the door and they go like this you know how you, they just go in like that to see if someone's inside and you know you're just ignoring it like dude if we're closed we're closed obviously and the time the time and the days is on the door so you can actually check and they they, they check it they check it they're like and they actually knock and they're like and so they want something that's still there but we're like this is what I do.
sorry, sorry. Seriously, I'm the type that I just don't care. I don't even go up to the door because we're closed, obviously. And I'm like, and they still, there are some people that actually beg to come inside. And they go like this, please, please, I really need it. And I'm like, sorry, sorry, sorry. And what really happened one time was when I'm putting, I'm already putting the alarm and the guy really wanted me to turn off the alarm, wanted me to put the lights back on and everything and um, open the register that, so that he can want, buy that one thing. And I was like, I'm sorry, I can't put the alarm off anymore. And he's like, it's okay, you could go turn it off again. And I was like, no. And especially when they're like, oh, I know your boss. Okay, if you know my boss, then give him a call. Maybe he'll come and um, open the store for you. Not that I ever said that, but it's like, okay, if you know him very well, then, you know, you should just let him know about it, you know? So it's like a threat. It's like, dude, just because you know him doesn't doesn't make me afraid. Dude, when we're closed, we're closed. I just think it's like the most respectful thing where you just really, really, you really want me to go back in the store when I've been there for more than like six, seven hours working. Sometimes, you know, doing double shifts. So just people respect their closing time you know what i mean so that was it if you're a server you know how i feel um it, it's not much of a restaurant it's a cafe but you know it's it's mostly i think people that work in restaurants get it worse than i do but still you get the assholes very douchey ass people but that's my video tell me what you think comment what is something that gets you pissed off at work comment below don't forget to subscribe and um, share the video all right peace bye